up everyone welcome back to the channel uh as you can see by the title of the video we uh switched from the carnivores so uh don't mind the muddy machine we just got back from riding the ivy branch trail hatfield mccoy trail system um so i wanted to go over these tires a little bit let you know maybe some of the reasons we switched from the carnivores some of the reasons we went to the Rockzillas. So if you're in the market for some tires, I'll give you an opinion on them. So we put our carnivores on our machines at 3,000 miles. And uh, before that, we had big horns. And I'm at, I think right around 4,900, maybe closer to 5,000 miles, something like that. But um, in those 2,000 miles, the uh, actually, I'll just show you the tires because I have some here. So these were our spares. You can see they're they're brand new; they were never used. And here are the 2,000 mile carnivores, 30 inch by 10, uh, 14s, and they're still just over half tread after 2,000 miles, which is a lot better than I thought we would get. Uh, a lot of people told me that they would wear out really quick. Um, that wasn't the case for us. And we ride a lot of road too in our our local outlaw trails here and in uh West Virginia we ride ride a lot of road. So um the carnivores um they do work really good in the loose dirt, um, hill climbs, uh packed trails, stuff like that. They really shine in uh in dirt like that. But most of our riding is on rock. So, I mean, the, the obvious choice was to go to the Rockzillas. Um, we've had the carnivores on some wet rocks, dry rock. I wasn't impressed with them. They seem to slide a lot. We run 10 to 12 PSI in, uh, in all of our tires. Um, so, that was one of the downfalls we noticed with the carnivores. They weren't, they weren't the best in uh on the rock especially the wet rock they would really slide um the other thing that we noticed with them was that uh when you're in ruts or when you're trying to to straddle the ruts they uh they tend to slide down in and uh that was another downfall to them which we didn't like um because we ride we ride a lot of rutted areas so when you're trying to straddle ruts and stuff the uh the tires do have a tendency to to slide down in and as far as riding in the snow goes i i'm not impressed with the carnivores at all in the snow they were they were terrible for us um trying to think of some other things uh but anyway, so let's let's move on to the Rockzillas. So we went with 32-inch Rockzillas. Um, they're 32 10 by 14s, and they're the sticky compound. Uh, I think they call it uh, competition. And we just got back from Ivy Branch, and we rode mainly rock trails there, rock crawling some wet rocks, and uh, I was 100% impressed with them. Um, it changes the whole attitude of the machine. It's uh, It was a huge confidence booster, not to be slipping and sliding all over the place, which we did with our carnivores. So that was probably worth every penny, just with, you know, riding on rock. Um, we got into some mud, if you can't tell already, by me walking around this thing. And they actually did better in the mud than what my carnivores did. And these actually are brand new, have less tread depth than the carnivores do after 2,000 miles. And I'm sure a lot of it has to do with this side bite. Uh, you can see... They are really soft. 
they're great now, of course they're brand new they only have about 60 miles on them so far um we did some hill climbs uh you know hat film mccoy trails some of them were groomed some of them weren't uh, we did a lot of black and double black trails so but i think it was a really good test on how awesome these tires were um i'm trying to think of anything else that they they really shine on they did good in the mud haven't had them in the snow so i can't say for that um the rocks are they were they were amazing um can't really think of anything else the extra ground clearance i'm sure helped um i think we notice a lot of a difference too because we're still running the visco lock so the extra bite of the tire kind of i think compensates a little bit for having the visco up front which soon hopefully we'll have a uh, halo locker for them but uh until then this will do uh, we do plan on probably doing a, a clutch upgrade uh, we'll probably get a clutch kit just for the 32s in the tune just to uh kind of make it right but we rode thursday friday saturday down at the ivy branch and it did just fine so that kind of sums everything up i wanted to get on here and tell you we did go from 30 inch to 32s i uh, went from carnivores to the rockzillas and just after 60 miles i can tell you right now that this is probably going to be our go-to tire the carnivore did all right for those 2,000 miles um but uh you can really tell a difference from going to these uh, Rockzillas, how much of a difference and how much more of a bite that you get on all terrain with uh, with the Rockzillas. So if you're in the market and you ride uh, a mixture of, you know, dirt, gravel, rock, Hatfield, McCoy, Tennessee, Michigan type trails, I would definitely give the Rockzillas a look at. They were, uh, they blew my mind over the weekend on, on how well they stuck to the, to the terrain and to the rock and they didn't slip down into ruts like the carnivores did. Uh, they didn't spin on the rock like the carnivores did. So, uh, and I'm sure if you guys are watching like the blown budget videos and, uh, some of the other videos that the guys are running rock sealers, you can tell that they're, they're an awesome tire. So, uh. That pretty much sums it up. If you guys have any questions or comments or uh, opinions on, on what type of tires you run, if you're running the corner boards and like them, let us know. Uh, if there's anything that we didn't cover that you want to know, let us let us know. And we'll try to give you all the information we have on them. But 32-inch Rockzillas, they were, they were awesome. And uh, coming up, you'll be able to see we have a bunch of Ivy Branch videos coming out that you can see for yourself how well they did compared to maybe some of our other videos that we've done that you could see us spinning on some rock. I know uh, one of the Pocahontas videos we did, we did some rocks. Um, the Rock House video, we were on some rocks. So you'll be able to tell a huge difference with these. So. Highly recommend them. Really like them. Uh, just really overall really impressed with, with how they perform. So. That's about all I have for the video. I don't want to keep you guys too long. And uh, look out for our Ivy Branch videos coming up this week. Uh, today's Monday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. We'll be putting this video out on Tuesday. And hopefully the first Hatfield McCoy video will be out Friday. So stick around. Hope you enjoy the videos. One more thing I almost forgot. So the, I ordered the tires from Dave at Northeast Power Sports in Akron, Ohio. So if you're if you're shopping around, check him out. Give him a call. He was he was awesome to work with. Um, he got me the tires within I think a week a week from the time that I ordered them. Really good price, probably one of the best prices that I, I could find anywhere. And uh, great to work with. So give them a shout. Uh, he got them. He got them for me when everybody else told me that they're you know a month out, and I wouldn't get them until the end of March. He got them to me uh, before our trip. So 
check him out. I'll put his uh, link down in the description, and I'll probably throw his logo up on the uh, the video so you guys can see that too. So, shout out to them for hooking me up with these, and uh, give them give them a shout. Let them know what you need. He'll hook you up. He's a good guy. So, thanks, guys.